of last year against Prep Charter in this same game. Did you see any of that game? No, I did not. I, I heard we talked to Brinkley about uh, the game. They told me they're very, very uh, disciplined, uh, very uh, well coached. So we're looking for a great game. Coach, uh, what's the keys tonight? What does Communications Tech have to do to win this ball game? Well, we have to take care of the ball and be able to defend uh, the backdoor cuts and just uh, play our game offensively. Have a good game, Coach. All right, thanks a lot. Okay, Lou Beaster, he's been here certainly in the past, taking on teams like Hughesville or, or Loyal Sock Lancers in AA or the million, Williamsport Millionaires they played up here. Now you talk about that Nick Taglaferry. And uh, Tag, as he said a couple of weeks ago, hey, we're overrated. We're not playing the way that we expect to play for Hughesville. So, Tag, where are you right now? Uh, we'll find out here in about three hours. Um, obviously, you know, we haven't been ourselves all year. But somewhere through the mid corner, the, mid, the middle of the first quarter of the Southern game, it all kind of clicked. And uh, we've been progressively a lot better since. Uh, and I think we're really close to being really good. Uh, we're kind of back to, to the way we play the game. And we've established our identity a little bit on offense. And some guys that were hurt a little bit more healthy and some guys that weren't aggressive are becoming more aggressive. And we're starting to look like the team that I expect that we should be. And it's probably the right time to start climbing that mountain. It, you know, it took two buzzer-beating losses to get it out of us, but it's, I think it's coming, so hopefully we play well tonight. How important is a game like this against a quality team that you could see down the stretch? Uh, they're all important right now because we're trying to establish ourselves, but this is a, this is a game we're excited about. It's a different kind of team, a uh, team that we haven't played. Uh, you know, and obviously they're a state caliber, you know, state title contender and things like that. And we feel it's going to be a good measuring stick to see what we need to work on because we got a big week locally, big next two weeks, I guess, with our league and uh, heading into districts and stuff like that. So end of the year like this, you like to get tested. And, you know, we're going to be tested tonight. Uh, we're going to be tested tonight and next week. So we're really excited about this big stretch we have coming up. Okay, so that key to the game today, what do you have to do to win? Uh, I think we have to take care of the basketball. We have to limit their, their fast break opportunities. And to do that, we have to take care of the basketball, make sure we're getting back on defense as a group, not just one or two guys. If we take care of the basketball, uh, we'll be able to get any shot we want, I think, on the offensive end. If we can do that, we'll have an opportunity to win the game. If not, if we jumpstart their break and get them easy baskets, we're going to be digging out of a hole. So we'll see how that goes. Nick Taglaferry, head coach of the Hughesville Spartans. Big ball game, and Hughesville now starting to play better ball. But tonight, a real test against a tech team coming in 16-3 and three out of the city of brotherly love. We're going to take a timeout. Communications Tech and Hughesville coming up next for the Fairfield Auto Group Game of the Week. Don't go away. Ode to the Subway Big Philly Cheesesteak by Ryan Howard. I step to the plate and what do I see? Big Philly cheesesteak staring down me. Tender grilled steak, melted cheese high. Saying slugger, give it a ride. Digging my cleats, take a bite. Oh, the flavor soars out of sight. Big Philly cheesesteak puts burgers to shame. I ought to be enshrined in the mm, Hall of Fame. Subway, eat fresh. When it comes to the finest designs in detail and handcrafted jewelry anywhere in Central PA, there is one name to know. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, right here in the Golden Strip in Williamsport. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Crispin. Billy and John working hard with new hot stones and great designs. Matter of fact, John right now has some of the hottest for this season. Let's go check it out. Gary, here's a couple of examples of what we have to offer here at Blair Brothers. Magnificent stones, pink tourmalines, pink sapphires, tanzanites, diamonds, all of it. We will build you whatever you need and at an affordable price. You travel all over the country to come back with what stones are the hottest? A any stone a customer needs or desires. We'll find it and we'll build the setting. My brother will work with you to build the best setting for you. Okay, Bill's working at something hot right now. What, what's he looking at? It's a, it's a really hot piece that we came up with. It was using pave diamonds, and it's really hot and affordable. Here's an example of pave settings. It, uh, it allows us to create a lot of flash in the piece without extending too much of a budget. It's something that works great. It's something that you can dress up or dress down with. You know, it's something that the public has come to us, and they, they've told us what they want, and that's what we're here for, is to help them. And that's what we achieved to do. You guys are always coming up with new designs. It's something new with the finest detail. That, that's what you're about from year to year. Absolutely. Everything we do is, is custom and it's, and it's created towards the customer. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd Williamsport. Check them out this week. Here we are live at the Stearns Plaza, the unveiling of City Bus to River Valley Transit. 
Over one million passengers ride River Valley Transit yearly. River Valley Transit operates buses six days a week. River Valley Transit has easy fare passes for as low as $2. Ride the River Valley Transit to the Lycoming Mall. I love River Valley Transit. Seniors ride free and they get bonus bucks. River Valley Transit. We're getting you there. Rainbow Carpet, your flooring headquarters for over 20 years in Central PA, has you covered for all the new flooring designs. The Macer family will help you every step of the way with those new creative ideas from carpeting, ceramic tile, laminate, vinyl, hardwoods, including exotic hardwoods like bamboo and Brazilian cherry. And their carpet and cleaning service and water and fire restoration is second to none. For all your flooring needs, see Tony, Mary, Anthony, and John, the Macer family at Rainbow Carpet. MRIs used to be, well, in your face. Then the bore got wider, but the image clarity suffered. Now our newest very open MRI is sized right to be comfortable for everyone, delivering the clearest images for accurate diagnosis and treatment, and 60% of the time keeping your head outside of the machine, and all the time keeping you right here in Williamsport. The Siemens Esprit, now at Susquehanna Health. The art of caring, the science of healing. If you're worried about the high cost of heating this season, then it's time to call the Airmen and have your heating system cleaned and serviced. The Airmen will fine-tune your system to maintain peak efficiency and ensure that your heating system operates safely. Once you see the savings for yourself, you'll know why your best solution to rising energy costs was calling the Airmen. Call today, 322-3131. That's 322-3131. This year, you're invited to celebrate life's special moments with Disney. Anniversaries, reunions, and right now, something incredibly special for your birthday. Just ask your travel agent. So join Disney Parks, where the only thing to decide is, what will you celebrate? AAA Travel is celebrating Disney Month by offering a special book four nights and get three free. Plus, for every Magic Your Way package, you'll receive a limited edition Disney print. Call your local AAA Travel agent for details. And again, AAA Travel is getting ready for Disney Month with AAA. That's uh, big right now. Of course, that's wrapping up. Cruise Month is settled in for February. And right now is the time to get ready for incredible cruises. We'll tell you more about it with AAA, the most trusted name in travel. All right, let's talk about keys to the ball game. Communications Tech, 16-3, and three, coming off a very tough loss. Damatep Charter out of Philly, the top-ranked team against number four, which they are, against Hughesville tonight. Let's talk keys. Well, you know, I, you hit the nail right in the head with them, uh, with uh, uh, Charter. They lost a heartbreaker to Emma Tech last Thursday night. Very disappointing to the coach, very disappointing to the team. Can they snap out of that and bring their A game onto the floor here tonight? That's going to be the big question. For Hughesville, it's going to be the same as it's been all year. They've got to get their underneath people to grow up. The, they're young players. They, they lost Cronover last year. They have had difficulty controlling the paint this season. If they can get somebody to control the paint underneath, then the outside game will come together, and this Hughesville team is going to be very dangerous. We'll see what they can do here tonight. Yeah, they're hoping they could play like they did against Prep Charter here a year ago, but this time they're hoping to come out with a W. Big game, big tune-up as we get ready for the second season that'll get you prepared for the playoffs coming up in March. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with more of the starting lineups. Hughesville, Communications Tech, part of the Fairfield Game of the Week, coming up next. Again this year, Europe is one of the top travel destinations, and AAA Travel is your top European travel planner. With escorted tours, cruises, or customized itineraries anywhere in Europe, AAA Travel represents the best European tour companies and cruise lines for the best vacation at the best prices. And this year, AAA offers special group tours to Iceland and Ireland, plus cruises on the Mediterranean and the Danube River. So call AAA today or visit AAA.com and experience the best of Europe this year. Matt, what is the deal? You have a brand new subway, it's like coming crossings by Target. Where'd you get the money for that? Well, Dad, I just signed your name on the loan at the bank. So, Matt, what else are you doing behind my back? Well, Dad, I signed your name at the bank for another loan. We're going to do a store in Montoursville. Matt, first you lower prices on whole subs to $5, and then every night from 4 o'clock to close, oh, any whole down, subs for $4.89. Okay. Okay. We're going to be broke. Calm down. Relax. 
Winter's relentless cold will be here before you know it. Do you know if your heating system is running properly? A heating system tune-up and regular maintenance checkups can save you money as much as 10% during the heating season. And speaking of savings, fuel prices have come down. Now might be the perfect time to fill up before we see another significant change in fuel prices. And seniors, did you know that Montour offers discounts to qualified customers over the age of 65 to help them extend their budget? Call Montour Home Comfort Services today at 1-888-MONTOUR. If you're moving in, moving out, moving up, moving on, moving over, move away, move together, move apart. Red Dog. Red Dog. On site, off site, your site, our site, you pack, we store, you're going to save more. Red Dog. Red Dog. Mobile storage, we got storage for you. Red Dog. Red Dog. Mobile storage, we bring storage to you. Red Dog. Red Dog. Hey, today we're here at the Kootenai Insurance Agency in Washington Boulevard with former Mansoursville Warrior Mike Kootenai. Mike, congratulations on 10 great years. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. What are some of the discounts you're offering? At the Kootenai Agency, we offer a 25% multi-policy discount when you insure your auto and homeowner's insurance with us. And you can save up to $523 a year on auto insurance. Call us today for a free quote, great rates, and superior service. Mike, what is that phone number? 322-8909. The Kootenai Insurance Agency. And once again, we're back. Fairfield Auto Group Game of the Week. Fairfield for Fair Deals with GM Rick Quigley here at Fairfield Hyundai, East 3rd Golden Strip in Williamsport. And Rick, a car that gets better and better every single year. Hyundai's a great success story. Each year it gets better and better. And the best thing about Hyundai is it comes with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warning, which is the best in the industry. Okay, we've got some great-looking 09s that are in. Really exciting. Let's talk about the Elantra right behind us. Uh, the Elantra is brand new. Uh, it's a great car for us. This car gets 34 miles at a gallon, four-cylinder, starts out at 14,000, automatic power windows, power locks, side airbags, fully equipped, a great economy car. One of the other great-selling cars is the Sonata, and here's another good-looking 09. This is nice, brand new for 09. This is a four-cylinder version. They all come, also come in V6. Uh, this car will get 32 miles a gallon on the road. Starts out at 18.5, well equipped. You know, when I, I really started looking at a Hyundai a few years ago, I liked the real great look of the Hyundai Santa Fe. Good looking SUV. They changed it up about a year or so ago. Sporty, gets great gas mileage. This is a fun vehicle. A very nice success story. This is a V6, four-wheel drive. Starts out. At uh, 23.9, gives you 24 miles a gallon on the road, and that's very well equipped. Power windows, locks, cruise tilt, you name it, it's on it. And when you talk about a, a location, you have a lot of people coming through here all the time. You've got plenty of pre-owned cars, too. A great selection of used cars here, and uh, the, the deals are unbeatable. Hey, Rick, uh, good luck again for a great year in 09 here at Fairfield Hyundai. Thanks, Gary. Good luck to you. Fairfield Game of the Week here at Hyundai. Make it Fairfield for fair deals. 102.7 KISS FM, Central PA's home of big hits. 102.7 KISS FM with Kelly Clarkson, Nickelback, John Mayer. 102.7 KISS FM with Christine Aguilera, Bon Jovi, Rob Thomas. 102.7 KISS FM, Central PA's home for big fun. Weekday mornings on the Christmas Morning Show with Gary, Gale, and Rob the Boy. It's Central PA's most listened to radio station. 102.7 KISS FM. And we're set, Fairfield Auto Group, game of the week, Fairfield for Fair Deals, first game of this doubleheader. William Sport showcase tonight, big game in double A in Pennsylvania. A lot of folks will be watching to see what happens here. Hughesville team that had been ranked number six in the state, then they lost the two in a row. They're honorable mention right now, but it seems certainly to be con uh, to con contend with, without a doubt, one of the favorites in Pennsylvania this year. And Communications Tech always seems to be vying for some kind of a title, but they ran into the top-ranked team, Imitap Charter, the other night, and were beaten badly. Starting lineups for this ball game coming out right now. The starter, Shaq Shannon, will start in the backcourt. And you see the rest of this lineup coming out. Chris Jones wears number 14. The rest of the lineup, Virgil Pearson, Elijah Thompson, Sharon Blanford, and Shaq Shannon. The starters for this team out of Communications Tech in Philadelphia. So they will be the starters coming in. Thompson averages about 10 a game. For the uh, Hughesville Spartans, you see Davis, Hoover, Gurney, Lacher, and Ad Addison Hanford, who's going to need a big game inside against this taller opponent's coming in. Ryan Hoover runs the show. He's been a key for them. 
He's really turned up his defense. He plays outstanding defense. Reason Davis came out of a, of a shooting slump with 28 points the other night. Brian Gurney has not been playing the way he played a year ago, but now he's starting to get the average up to about 13 a game. Andy Lancher, just a great athlete, junior off that football team, and then Addison Hanford at six foot four in the pivot. And now let's pause for the playing of our national anthem. set Hughesville again with a great crowd here a lot of millionaire fans will be arriving and some here already getting ready for game number two coming up if you're watching Sunday you'll see the complete doubleheader second replays millionaires Monday at 7 Hughesville Tuesday at 7 right here on Comcast Channel 71 the Phoenix 16 and 3 coming in rank fourth in Pennsylvania and Hughesville had been ranked as high as number six in the state Let's talk impact players in the ball game brought to you by Subway. You know, some guys that I think need a big game right there, Brian Gerning. 13 points a game, but he's been playing better in the last few ball games coming down. And I think a guy like Gerning, everybody looks at Reason Davis, but I think a guy like Gerning needs a big game. And there's the guy in the middle, Elijah Thompson. 10 points a game. He's going to jump center. He was at Monsignor Bonner, then transferred over, and now playing for Communications Tech. And the Phoenix control the basketball to start this ball game, and here they go. Thompson down the lane is going to be hooked in the way in, a whistle and a foul, and a two-shot foul, and they go to the go to the stripe right away. Now, right there is, is where Hughesville has got to tighten up their game, and that is they've got to control the paint. They can't let him take the ball from the perimeter and make a move like that to the basket. And, you know, you, you got Lacer underneath there. He's only a junior coming off football season. He hasn't grown into his maximum at basketball yet. He's got to get there tonight. Hanford, on the other hand, is, is a, a really a solid basketball player. Needs some help. No doubt. Here we go. They had crowd over in there, and this is a taller team. They ran into some of those problems against Prep Charter in the Bucknell Challenge, and it's a 2-0 lead communications tech, and they're putting pressure on right away. Hoover in the backcourt. Lacher better hurry to get over the timeline to Gurney. Hoover. And now you're going to see a tenacious defense by the Phoenix. Hughesville plays against good teams during the summer, so, that, you know, they're not intimidated by this team. Hoover, jumper, good head fake. Top of the rim, top of the backboard, we should say, and out of bounds. It'll come back to Communications Tech. 2-0 lead for the Phoenix in this ballgame. White Plains, New York, and the Millionaires coming up next. Hughesville has, Hughesville has got to hit better from the outside in this ballgame tonight. They're not going to be able to give up opportunities in the... Uh, uh, at, at, from the perimeter. Here comes Chris Jones. 
Gives that ball back to Shannon. Trying to feed it down underneath. Hughesville. They'll try to match up a bit and double the ball if they can. Off the miss. Loose ball picked up by Jones. Thompson took steps to the baseline. It's going to turn it over. Hughesville gets it back, but right away they're going to face that tenacious full court press. What a good job so far of getting up court, moving the ball up court. Good move by Hoover. Davis with that huge game a year ago against Prep Schreider in the showcase at 30 points. There's Brian Gurney. Back door, that's what they worried about. Missed the shot, though. Good defensive play inside Shaq Shannon. Running the break the other way. Thompson lays it up and in. He's got all four points, and it's a 4-0 ball game. Communications tech over Hughesville. Hanford to Hoover. Hanford pulls up. Jumper in the paint. Shot won't get down. They're, they're rushing their shots. Hughesville right now is rushing the shots. They're letting the speed of this defense intimidate them. They can't do that. Chris Jones in the backcourt on that left wing. Hoover on him. Jones looks for that lane drive. Pull up three. Shot rolls in and out. Off the miss by Jones. And here come the Spartans. Down by four early. Fairfield game of the week. Hanford tries to work in that spin move. The little half hook and a nice shot off the bank. Big bucket by Addison Hanford to cut it to a 4-2 game. That was a big basket for Hughesville. They got it inside in the paint, challenged the big man and won. And off the steal, Davis. Your average is about 16 points a game. Davis had 28 in the breakout game the other night. He needed that. Hanford. Gurney. Who started as a sophomore a year ago, and he's been coming on. He was in a shooting slump early this season, too. Hughesville team picked as the favorites in District 4 AA, and there's what Gurney can do to you there. Big step, ties the game at 4-4, Brian Gurney. All right, now Hughesville has settled down. They have much more control over their body movement, and they're making buckets, tied it up. Jones tried to go to Thompson, stepped to the end line, they turn it over. So now, Hughesville starting to get back in this game after trailing 4-0 early on. They play a lot of outstanding teams, as Babe said, during the summer. And, of course, Nick Tagg wants to, to be the best. You've got to play the best. Davis, deep three, would not go. Stolen back by Davis. Gurney had it stripped and stolen the other way. Here comes Shannon. Off the dribble, driving and putting it up and in is going to be Virgil Pearson. 6-4, Tech. One thing Hughesville does not want to do tonight is be tentative, and they have not been that yet in this game. This is a team that, you know, used to play good, good, good opponents, and that's why they've been so good the last few years. Davis from deep. The big three and a 7-6 lead, their first of the night. And that's what Hughesville's got to do. They've got to answer twos with threes. Drew Eisworth's going to come in the ball again. There's a big step to the hole, and that's what they've got to get a guy to step in right there that was too easy yeah. and a foul at the end of that's going to be a shot at a three-point play off the drive that time for communications tech shack shannon hit the shot he's one of their leaders averaging close to a dozen a game that time gurney stepped in didn't get his footing down he, he was in place but was off to the side just a little bit allowed the man to squeeze through that crack and he gets called with the foul that'll be his first team second Jack Shannon at the line, 8-7 ball game. The Phoenix now lead by two, 9-7 game. Full court pressure by Communications Tech out of Philly. 16-3, but losing to the number one team of the state, Imitep Charter out of Philly in a big way the other night. Gurney, Hoover, first there, Coach Lou Beaster said, we just did not show up. Baseline, there's the cut underneath. Kicking it back, Davis, Gurney. Off the double team, Gurney gets nailed going in. And a two-shot foul for Bryant Gurney. This is a very good free-throw shooting team 
Although earlier this year when we've seen Hughesville, they did not shoot well at the line. And, and that it, was part of the slump they had earlier when they were just not playing up to par. Absolutely. In, in that Loyal Sock game we saw, which was a two-point game they fouled intentionally, and it ended up a four-point game after they made the foul. Hughesville shot uncharacteristically bad from the foul line, and that could have been well the difference in the game. Absolutely. Fundamentally sound, that is the key to Nick Tagg's teams as they tie it at 9-9. Gurney's got four on the night. Game one, Williamsport showcase, good crowd on hand. It's going to get bigger as the night goes on. Shannon off the dribble. Pearson. Breaks Haggard in the ball game. He's been playing real well of late, coming off the bench for this club, and nearly traveled but turned it over anyway. On the turnover by Jones. Taggart. Gurney, Davis, free from three, yes, knocks it down, that's what you want to see, and it's a 12-9 Hughesville lead, their largest at three. Davis has the hot hand right now, and I'll tell you, the Spartans looking good here early on. Off the dribble, the shovel back up, put back, no good, out of bounds, it comes back to Communications Tech. Good job inside, Drew As uh, uh, Eisworth. Uh, Taggart was in there. I couldn't see who else was in there, but they stayed in with the big men, fought with them, knocked the ball out of bounds, but they uh, they still played good defense in the paint. And here comes Jordan Holmes in the ball game, best sixth man in the area. He loves to, he did start a game the other day. And Holmes had got to the point where you had the feeling they liked bringing him off the bench, but if some people were not going to play better, you're almost going to have to start Holmes, but he's now, everybody's sort of gelled, and, and now Holmes is back in his part coming off the bench. The deep jumper did not go in. The miss by Tyson Briggs. Good job. I'll tell you, Usdell doing a great job against that press of spreading the floor, keeping the ball moving. Gurney off the drive. Couldn't hit it. Kept alive by Eisworth. Staying alive. A great big play by Gurney to Davis. Holmes for three. Yes! Nothing but net. 15-9, Hughesville, and it was set up on a great save that time. Eisworth and then keeping it alive. Gurney got it back to Davis, who hit it over to Holmes and nails the three. Baseline. He's going to get fouled in the act. Eisworth got him going in. Good ball movement by Communications Tech. Got it to the big man. Eisworth didn't match up. Still, though, Spartans look tough. Elijah Thompson the line. Let's talk Red Dog Mobile Storage. We'll certainly we'll bring that storage to you. Red Dog. Boy, they do a great job. Red Dog Mobile Storage, one of our great new sponsors for the Fairfield Auto Group Game of the Week in our 22nd season. Off the miss. 15-11, four-point lead. Taggart. Hanford's going to think of the spin. Davis has hit a pair of threes in the game. This ball club right now trying to extend their pressure defense. And they turn it up a bit. Hughesville's going to have to do a better job moving in the passing lanes right there and trying to make something without the ball happen. Lou Beaster not happy there. Overplaying at that time. And a whistle and a reach-in foul. Jack Shannon got the hand on his back, gave him a little shove. 13 foul. Gurney's going to sit down. Made a big play a moment ago that kept the ball alive. Well, Nick, Nick Tagliferi knows that this team has speed and this team can really turn up the tempo, so he's got to protect legs as Davis, long as he can. Davis, the turn, the shot won't go. Try to hit his third three of the ball game. Jamil Strange is in the ball game right now. Number 20 just checked in at the point. Thompson off the drive. Shot won't go. Tap no good. Good heads up play. Hanford is kicked away. And the Spartans get it back again. I, I no, they're going to no, give, give it back, and I'll tell you, you can hear the Hughesville cheering section say it was touched last by Hanford. Looked like it was saved. Minute five left, first period of this Fairfield Auto Group game of the week. Fairfield for fair deal, six locations, a dozen lines of cars, and some incredible de de deals right now. The Dick Stein and the gang have at Fairfield Toyota, Toyota Scion. Some of the best deals in the best-selling car lineup in America. Interest rates rebase up to five grand and more right now at Fairfield Toyota Scion. 
just to name one of the locations. Four point Hughesville lead, 50 on the clock, first period. Good defense right now. Spartans not giving them anything. Off the drive, it goes. Big bucket put in that time. Gamil Strange off the bench hits his first two of the night. It's a two point game. All right, Hughesville needs to score. Hughesville really playing well, even though they've, they've uh, allowed a lot of communications tech to close the score down. Taggart from three. He puts it down. Big bucket right there. Boy, they needed that. Drawing back, and it's a five point game. 18 13. Hitting the threes yep. early in the game. That's huge. Six, six points off the bench for Hughesville tonight. Holmes with a three, Taggart with a three. And Strange from downtown missed the three the other way. Hustle out of bounds. Hughesville ball. 5.1 seconds left. 18 13 ball game. Their largest lead was at six. Good hustle by Andy Lasher. He, I tell you, they're outsized underneath, but they're getting quality play out of Hanford. Lasher, Eisworth was in the ball game, and a lot of help from their perimeter players are crashing uh, that basket after misses and getting rebounds. 18 13, Gurney off the dribble, takes it end to end, lays it up, and would not stay down. And it ends, but Hughesville couldn't get that bucket to go. But a big first period for the Spartans. Green and White lead it by five. Let's take a pause for Subway. New Subway in like coming, crossing across from Target. 18 13 Hughesville. We'll be back. Introducing the all new BMW series you the road the sky pure BMW Fairfield BMW the Fairfield exit off I-180 Montoursville winter's relentless cold will be here before you know it do you know if your heating system is running properly a heating system tune-up and regular maintenance checkups can save you money as much as 10 percent during the heating season and speaking of savings, fuel prices have come down. Now might be the perfect time to fill up before we see another significant change in fuel prices. And seniors, did you know that Montour offers discounts to qualified customers over the age of 65 to help them extend their budget? Call Montour Home Comfort Services today at 1-888-MONTOUR. Fairfield Auto Group Game of the Week. William Sport Millionaire Showcase. Game one of a doubleheader. Watching it back-to-back -back Sunday morning, Super Sunday. Jordan Holmes kicked it back. Loose ball picked up by Jones. Baseline, Strange going to take the shot. Camille Strange has hit a pair off the bench to trim the lead to 18-15. Taggart, double team. They get the ball to somebody. Hoover picks it up. Hughesville led by as many as six. Fell behind 4-0 before they hit their first bucket. Hanford cutting underneath. Holmes takes it and travels and turns it over. We'll walk back down the other way. You're, you're going to have to watch going against size when you take that ball to the hoop when you release that ball. And what's happening is they're going in. The front side is closed down. They're going underneath the basket and trying to, to come back with a reverse layup. And there's just too much size there and too much distance to cover. They get called for the travel. And that's the second time that's happened in this ball game. Strange. Thompson goes baseline. They deny it. He had started his career at Monsignor Bonner, who the Millionaires beat last week. There's going to be a foul. Coming back against Communications Tech, reach in. It should be their fourth, uh, third team foul of the game. And Taggart will pick it up. I thought they had three before, too, but it, the scoreboard only shows two, still shows two. Here comes Taggart and Gurney. Hughesville. Nice ball movement. Great crossover. Davis goes baseline. It will not go in. They've had a couple close calls at the bucket and would not fall. Jones spins out of control, turned it over. And another tech turnover in this ball game. They've turned it over five times already. Uh, Lou Brewster's got to be got to be concerned over there in the bench because his team is not sharp tonight at all. Came off that big loss we talked about in the in the pregame show uh, to Imitep last Thursday. And, and boy, they still look like they're they're struggling out there. Gurney to Hanford. Off the double team now. Communications tech coming out, doubling the ball. Trying to go for that steal and that trap pressure at midcourt. And a reach-in foul. 
I, I think that was not a foul that we saw prior to this one. I think it was a kick. They kicked the ball, and, and that's why we didn't see it. Yeah, I missed, I missed it. Yeah, and, and so there's three didn't team see, fouls on either one. Did not see that kick. Hughesville by three. Millionaires in White Plains, New York, coming up next. Second replay of this Hughesville game will be Tuesday at 7, Comcast 71. Millionaire's second replay will be Monday at 7. You watch them both back-to-back -back on Sunday. Gurney, boy, they've had about five shots like that that would not go in. Okay, what go good hustle defense. They swarmed to the ball, and they forced that, that pass to go long and out the end zone and, and we'll look at uh, the Spartans bringing it back in. Spartans doing some nice things out there in the floor tonight. Good hustle. It's all it's all comes off a hustle. Here comes Hoover running that point well. Taggart for his second three and he nails it. Deep three by Taggart and Greg Taggart gives you about six a game has really lifted his game in the last couple of games and that's one guy that Tag pointed out to me in the pregame. 21-15. Nine points off the bench for the Spartans. Off the dribble, the bank goes in. Pretty play. Chris Jones, the senior guard who averages nine a game. 21-17. Jones did a good job of handling the ball in traffic, keeping control. Landed off the backboard, gets the bucket, keeps him within four. Here comes Hoover, head of the circle on the left wing. They go down to Hanford. He's going to turn up. Davis. Hanford again. Bowls in at 6-4 and nails the shot. Big bucket, Hanford. He's got four on the night. Well, I'll tell you what, that, that was a really nice move going inside by Hanford against a guy that was big and had good defensive position. Camille Strange drives, banks, and hits. He's fouled the way in. So as they had opened a six-point lead, their second six-point lead of the ball game. And now Strange, a chance at a three-point play. That bucket does count. Strange has been the spark here for, for uh, Communications Tech, Gary. He's the guy that's kept him alive. Hughesville opens up, scores. Strange comes back with a big play. He's off the bench. Game of the Week brought to you in part by 102.7 KISS FM, the Crispin Morning Show. We've got a great giveaway. Two tickets to Paradise with Triple A Travel right now. Tune in to win a great getaway Royal Caribbean cruise along with the Williamsport Regional Airport helping set it all up. Loose ball picked off. Jones crosses over, drives, shot one stay. Taggart off the break the other way. Good step by Taggart. He's going to be fouled by Strange from behind. Team foul four against the Phoenix. If, if, there's, if there's one thing you can take out of this ball game so far is that Useville is in no way intimidated by a state-ranked team coming out of the Philadelphia area. We talked about it. They play these teams in the summer. But you're on a big floor right now, and Hughesville is hanging in there tough. Bryce Pardo into the ball game for the Spartans. Hughesville does play well on this floor. We saw what they did against Prep Charter in a great game a year ago. Hoover. Off the dribble. Nice movement. Taggart. Lays it in. Nobody picked him up, and Greg has come off the bench to explode. Taggart has a big first start in this ball game. Greg Taggart, he's got seven. Taggart is playing a banner game here tonight. Back to a six-point game. Hustle, Davis no. keeps it alive. Taggart again off the save. Another big hustle play for the Spartans. Here comes Taggart. He's going to take the jumper baseline and nails it. He's got nine. 27. 19, an eight-point lead, their largest of this ball game. Chris Jones running the point, or Shaq Shannon, we should say. Tiger, that's, that's strange. Tiger with his 10th point there off the bench. The, the, the Spartans getting quality points off of their bench of travel, forced by good defense. The Spartans will get the ball back. Great D. Bryce Bardo is coming in the ball game. 44, the junior center at six foot three. Get a chance to get some people in. You've got, you know, that's the thing. The, the bench is playing better. They're getting the depth to play well for this ball club. And, and Nick felt in the second half of the Southern game, in a game that they did not win, but they played absolutely great ball and fell to an outstanding Southern team. 
when uh, the other night their big player scored 44 points in that game. 27 19. Loose ball picked up, whistle, reach in foul. And the reach in foul off that bench is going to be Teddy Carson, I believe. Yeah, Teddy Carson will pick up the foul. Only be the 15 foul against Communications Tech, 14 fouls against Hughesville, so neither team has a foul. Fouls have not been an issue in this ballgame. Addison Hanford goes in hard, can't hit it. Loose ball picked up. Here's the break the other way. Hughesville got back. Good job defensively. Back it in. Teddy Carson looked like he took steps. Whistle, foul, over the top. Carson, we're walking back down the other way. So they got to break out of it anyway. We talked about players growing up, and I'll tell you what, Nick Tagliferi has got to be tickled with his underneath players here tonight. Hanford with some good offensive plays, a, a good defensive rebounds. That was a great job of boxing out, bringing down the rebound. And, and, and same thing with, the, with his other deep people. They're doing well. Gurney off the drive. It still would not stay down. But good penetration. Gurney keeps it alive. Back to Hoover. Great hustle. Great movement. Jordan Holmes, deep three. Yes! Holmes nails the three. And timeout, Lou Beaster. Tech needs to talk about it. 30 to 19. And the green and white are on their feet. Let's pause for Subway. Remember, 489, four till closing, any day, any time for a whole sub at Subway. We'll be back. If you're moving in, moving out, moving up, moving on, moving over, move away, move together, move apart. Red dog, red dog. On site, off site, your site, our site, you pack, we store, you're going to save more. Red dog, red dog. Mobile storage, we got storage for you. Red Dog, Red Dog, mobile storage, we bring storage to you. Red Dog, Red Dog. Fairfield Auto Group Game of the Week. Six threes in the first half of the ball game for Hughesville. Their largest lead at 11, it's 30 to 19. Jordan Holmes comes out, he comes down here and hits another deep three. And Holmes, you're talking about a great start for Jordan Holmes right now. With Taggers had 10 off the bench. Holmes has had a pair of threes. Well, how many points, uh, Mike Lundy, for Jordan Holmes now? You talk about bench points are huge. He's got six. Ten for Taggart. And there's 16 points just out of those two guys off the bench. Uh, that's you. And out of 30, you're right, Gary Chris. That is huge. Out of 30, that's over half the points off the bench for Usville. But that's the way they've been playing as a team tonight. Communications Tech on the other end, they're struggling. They're playing one-on-one -on -one basketball and losing. Gurney off the double team, flips it back here to Hoover. Gurney off the drive again, wouldn't go down. Gurney's making great moves to the hoop. He's not finishing them. Deep three wouldn't go that time off the miss. Another rebound, Hanford. That by Pearson Holmes. Hanford wants the ball, turns, spins. Big guy missed it, tried to go with a tap. But a nice move by Addison Hanford, 30-19. Shannon, Pearson, minute 38 left ha till halftime. Underneath, whistle, foul inside. They came back to Chris Burney, who just came in off the bench, number 32, a two-shot foul. And he goes to the free throw line, 30 to 19. Hughesville Spartans trying to make a big statement in the state of Pennsylvania, but just part of the, you know, as, 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 as Tag would say, just part of the development of this club, getting the confidence back, playing the way they expected play and making a move to get ready for the playoffs coming up. Red Dog Mobile Storage. Whether they bring it to your place or you take it and store it at their place, they've got those mobile storage units all over the area. Red Dog, they do a great job for your business or home. 30 to 20, 10 point lead. Lacher off the pump. I think he, did he take steps? Let's look and see. It's gonna be a foul from behind. He got pushed when he was down. He faked and got pushed on the fake. Then went up and made the basket. They'll wave off the basket. He'll go to the foul line. Ten-point lead for the Spartans. Gary Crispin, minute 24 to go. 
I'll tell you what, Nick Tagliferi has got to be tickled with the first half of this ball game. No doubt, but you, know, you see the explosiveness of this communications tech club. Got to make it a complete game. Remember, they had a big lead last time against Prep Charter a year ago. They had a good size lead in that game. Good point. And Prep Charter came back. There was a real close, maybe in some area, questionable call at the tail end of the game that uh, a no foul situation, or it was a foul called, I believe, that helped them tie it up, and they lost an OT the other way. Transition doesn't go off the miss. Here comes Hoover, 31-20. Taggart, stutter steps, baseline, in and out and back in. Bryce Taggart is exploded for 12 points in the first half off the bench, 33-20. This may be Greg Taggart's game of the season. Wow, is he playing great off that bench? He's got the 12 points. Baseline. Taggart, they thought had all ball, but they're going to call the foul on the arm. Yeah, you, know, you can see this crowd here. It's an interesting crowd. Hughesville has packed the place as they, as they always do. A lot of millionaires fans drifted in for the early game. They're behind the Spartans. Communication Tech doesn't have a lot of people here cheering for them. Matter of fact, maybe only their bench. Free throw by Bernie does not go, 33-20. And Holmes sits down. We've got Lacher and Davis. Hoover, along with Taggart and Gurney in the ball game for the Spartans right now. Hughesville may set up for one, although uh, Nick Tagliferi, he, he plays a different style of ball. He may just attack the basket and not worry about the time on the clock. Davis to Gurney, 42 on the clock with a 12-point lead. Taking some time off, you want to get a good shot. Would not be surprised they try to get a backdoor cut and continue to try to extend the lead at halftime up by 12. Gurney gets bumped and fouled, and it will put him to the free throw line. They're the one and one. And Brian Gurney to the line right here. 13 points a game. He's only a junior. Nick Tagliferi has done such a great job building the program at Hughesville. For the little kids on up, because now not just a place where they wrestle, and they were known for wrestling all these years, but he's made them a basketball power where they've won two of the last three District 4 AA titles. And Brian Gurney at the free throw line. 34-21 score of this game. Game of the week brought to you by Mr. Comfort. He cares. Montour Home Comfort Services. Home of the halftime show. He's got five, now six on the night for Gurney. 35-21. Off the step, nice move, Shannon missed the shot. Put back, fouled on the way up. Eisworth and Lacher were there. As Hanford, getting well-deserved rest on the bench, but nobody in foul trouble now. That puts the Phoenix in the one and one in this final 16 seconds. I was worried a game like this, you don't want to get a guy in foul trouble in a hurry. No, you don't, you don't. The other night that happened with Sock trying to guard Colin Claiborne, and uh, of course, their big guy got in foul trouble for Loyal Sock and had to sit out a lot, but still, Biddle still had a big night, had 16 points. Claiborne had 44 against this Hughesville team. All right, Nick Tagliferi puts an offensive team on the floor. He's got all his shooters down, 14 seconds to go. All right, here's Gurney, head of the circle. Off the dribble, penetrates again, had it rejected, slapped off the glass. The break the other way with three, two, he hits the shot and cuts the lead at 10 at halftime. Hughesville gives up that last bucket to, tie, to, to make it a 10-point game, but a big first half for Hughesville over Luke Beaster's team out of Philadelphia, 35-25. Let's pause for Subway. Remember, any day, any time, a whole sub, 489, four till closing at Subway. Hughesville leads Tech by 10. Introducing the 300 horsepower all new BMW 1 Series. You, the road, nothing else. Pure BMW. Fairfield BMW, the Fairfield exit off I-180 Montoursville. If I told you there was a way to save money on your heating bills, would you do it? 
Having your heating system cleaned and serviced will save you money. Your heating system will run more efficiently, and small problems can be repaired before they turn into big problems. The cold weather has arrived, and it's time to call the airmen. The airmen can get your heating system working more efficiently and reliably for the winter. Call the airmen today, 322-3131. That's 322-3131. The Rennie Road Armal Insurance Agency has been providing a wide range of insurance products to your friends and family for the past 29 years. Whether you need auto, home, life insurance, business insurance, annuities, or CDs, the Rennie Road Armal Agency wants to be your agent for life. We're located on Westminster Drive and Legion Road in Pensdale. Our friendly, helpful staff is available for all your insurance needs. Call Rennie Road Armal Insurance Agency today. When it comes to great food, fun, and sports in the greater Williamsport area, there's only one name, Rival Sports Bar and Grill here on River Avenue. All the games and all the screens of football, basketball, NASCAR, baseball, and Dale and Leanne Bowman. Congratulations. What a start. I think Wednesday night, wings night got you out of the block. Wednesday night, wing night is phenomenal. We have eight different um, flavors of wings. We have teriyaki, champagne, barbecue, to name a few. Well, they're great. And now Monday night, huge, best Mexican food in town, great Mexican. Yes, that night has turned out to be phenomenal. Also, we have taco pizza, taco salads, to name a few things. Okay, and of course, now Friday night, maybe the biggest night of the week, the big Friday night fish fry, that haddock is great. That's right, Gary. We bread our own fish here. We have homemade macaroni and cheese and coleslaw, all for $8. Okay, California wood fired pizza, the signature dish, loads of varieties. Boy, on that wood fire back there, it's great. That's right, Gary. There's nothing else like it. Uh, we have loaded, vegetarian, and we'll build them however you like them. No doubt. And my favorite is that great Pittsburgh steak salad with black diamond steak. It's great. And, of course, you got to save room for dessert. That's where you come in. Homemade desserts named after your grandchildren. Yes, we have Griffin's Gooey Mass, which is two brownies with hot fudge and ice cream. And then we have Emma's Extreme, which is made with chocolate chip cookies and uh, peanut butter fudge. Oh, I'll say it's great. You've got to check it out. Rival Sports Bar and Grill on River Avenue, where everybody's talking about Rival. Thank you for coming to Rival. Oh, to the Subway Big Philly Cheesesteak by Ryan Howard. I step to the plate and what do I see? Big Philly cheesesteak staring down me. Tender grilled steak, melted cheese high. Saying slugger, give it a ride. Digging my cleats, take a bite. Oh, the flavor soars out of sight. Big Philly cheesesteak puts burgers to shame. I ought to be enshrined in the mm, Hall of Fame. Subway, eat fresh. MRIs used to be, well, in your face. Then the bore got wider but the image clarity suffered. Now our newest very open MRI is sized right to be comfortable for everyone, delivering the clearest images for accurate diagnosis and treatment, and 60% of the time keeping your head outside of the machine, and all the time keeping you right here in Williamsport. The Siemens Esprit, now at Susquehanna Health. The art of caring, the science of healing. Who is a 1973 Hughesville High graduate who started in every football game from his sophomore to senior years at linebacker and offensive guard? Well, if you guessed Tom Montgomery, you're correct. Tom's 1971 team was the first Spartan football team to win the West Branch Conference Football Championship. In 1972, they would repeat for the second consecutive championship. Tom would be team co-captain and first team All-West Branch in his senior season. Tom wrestled for legendary coach Pete Wolf. Uh, it was team captain and voted outstanding wrestler in his senior season. And his 1972 team won the West Branch Conference Wrestling Championship. In all, he won a maximum of nine varsity letters in three sports at Hughesville. Today, Tom Montgomery is a co-owner of TJ's Market and Montgomery's Pharmacy in Hughesville, where Tom is a devoted fan of all Hughesville sports. Tom Montgomery, this week's Rennie Rod Armel All-State Insurance. Who is he and where is he now? And Gary Crispin, the Spartans are shocking at halftime. Hey, they're doing a 10-point lead. They're led by as many as 13. This is the Montour Home Comfort Services halftime show. Mr. Comfort is right there at Bay Bear. They're playing some basketball. But you know, one thing for sure, got down 4-0 early, and then they started nailing the threes big first half of the three-point uh, situation coming in and big bench points we're going to double check 
Uh, off the bench in this game, Taggart's got 12, Holmes has got six. Right there, those are 18 points off the bench uh, in this basketball game tonight. That's huge. Both guys have come to play, and uh, just a great job not worrying about the pressure and that full-court pressure that uh, this club out of Tech put on early in the game, and now they've got them back in their heels a bit. I, want to tell you what, Usville's got their game going for them. They're hitting from three-point range, getting the points off the points that you talked about, but they're also getting points in the paint, playing great defense in the paint, getting good defensive rebounds. Brian Gurney has had a number of clean drives to the basket and hasn't finished. If he can put that together in the second half of this ballgame, Usville could be in good shape. Yeah, that was huge. Let's take a look at our big play, the River Valley Transit big play of the first half. Here's a great example of great hustle. Eisworth kept it alive, and then a great job by Lacher, who makes the save, or Gurney, rather, made the save, and you're going to see a big bucket, another three. That time put down. Huge play right there. And you see the Hughesville Spartans, boy, huge. It doesn't get any bigger than that. And that's the type of play they had to start this game. We're going to take a timeout, 10-point lead. They've led by as many as 13. This is the Monsoor Home Comfort Services Halftime Show. We'll be back with more. Don't go away. Winter's relentless cold will be here before you know it. Do you know if your heating system is running properly? A heating system tune-up and regular maintenance checkups can save you money as much as 10% during the heating season. And speaking of savings, fuel prices have come down. Now might be the perfect time to fill up before we see another significant change in fuel prices. And seniors, did you know that Montour offers discounts to qualified customers over the age of 65 to help them extend their budget? Call Montour Home Comfort Services today at 1-888-MONTOUR. You know, the most talked about promotion we've done on KISS FM over the last couple of years, Home for the Holidays Makeover. Grand prize winners this year, the Kieser family here in Kogan Station, and Rainbow Carpet played a huge role. John Masseri, you were here working day and night. Let's talk about the work that you did from Rainbow. That's right, Gary. We threw in a uh, three-quarter inch hardwood maple floor in here. It is a traditional cut. It really met all of her needs and all of her tastes. Uh, fantastic floor. It's by Wickham. Okay, it had the country southwestern look, and then you added a little addition in the living area. What about that carpeting there? We threw in a Shaw Essentials twist. It is a platinum. It is gorgeous carpet, and it is a jewel tone that pulled in all the colors that we're looking for. Fantastic. Okay, the bathroom spectacular change. You talk about a makeover. Let's talk about the work you did. You did a couple of things in that bathroom from Rainbow. Mannington sheet good vinyl on the floor. It looks just like ceramic. And then we threw in an actual ceramic backsplash behind the shower area above the Whirlpool tub. It looks great. Yeah, you guys did a great job. Rainbow carpet, East 3rd in Williamsport. And I know one lady that's happy. The grand prize winner on KISS FM with Rainbow. We're talking about Diane Kieser. I loved it. It just made it look so classy, the kitchen. It tied everything together. They did a super job. The living room carpet, it's so warm, makes the living room just so comfortable. They asked me my ideas. They listened to me. They really gave me some better ideas even. The bathroom, the tile around the tub is so nice. And the linoleum floor looks like tile, and I love it. They did a super job. I appreciate all their work. I'd go to them in a minute. When it comes to the finest detail in handcrafted jewelry in Central PA, there's one name to know. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Golden Strip in Williamsport. Using only the finest A1 quality diamonds and A1 quality gemstones, Blair Brothers has more new designs for the upcoming season. Blair Brothers is your engagement ring headquarters. Now is the time to create that one-of-a-kind piece. Let them make you an original. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Williamsport. If you're moving in, moving out, moving up, moving on, moving over, move away, move together, move apart. Red Dog, Red Dog. On site, off site, your site, our site, you pack, we store, you're gonna save more. Red Dog, Red Dog. Mobile storage, we got storage for you. Red Dog, Red Dog. Mobile storage, we bring storage to you. Palco Federal Credit Union has been a tradition in our area for nearly 30 years. Tom Rachel, tell me why you're different than all the other financial institutions. Gary, we're owned by our members. Not everyone is eligible to be a member of the credit union. I ask that you visit our website or give us a call on our 800 line to see if you're eligible to join. Tom, what are the services that you have to offer? 
Gary, we offer everything that you can possibly want. We have checking, savings, loans, uh, home line, or online banking, where you can do everything from the convenience of your home. We would like you to be our next member at Palco. I hope you are enjoying the game. Hi, I'm Alex from AAA Travel. As you know, AAA Travel can arrange your travel plans for cruises, tours, Las Vegas trips, Disney trips, and European trips. I would like to talk to you about all-inclusive resorts in the Caribbean. You can find all-inclusive resorts from St. Thomas to Aruba, from San Juan to the Bahamas, and from Jamaica to the Dominican Republic. I prefer the all-inclusive resorts in Mexico myself. The great things about all-inclusive resorts are all your meals, entertainment, and drinks are included. There are many dining options. You can eat at the buffets which are spectacular and have a wide variety of food. Or you can make reservations at one of the many specialty restaurants. They vary from Caribbean food to Japanese food to steakhouses and European specialties. And trust me, the food is wonderful. My favorite all-inclusive resort is in Mexico. The new vacation spot called Riviera Maya is located about 50 miles south of Cancun. This resort area has over 30 all-inclusive resorts. My personal favorite is the Coba. This resort has seven swimming pools with swim-up bars. The beaches are beautiful with private cabanas and activities including scuba diving, snorkeling, kayaking, parasailing, and beach volleyball. There were some really cute guys. The shopping was great. Most resorts have on-site shopping centers and stores. So if you are looking for your main one-week vacation, a long weekend, or a three to four night getaway, call the travel experts at AAA Travel to give you some all-inclusive resort options in the Caribbean and Mexico. All right, here we go. Just opening seconds of this second half. Off the turnover, Hughesville. And Gurney. Lacher, there's Davis, has got six, a pair of threes. They hit three threes early in the first half. A total of six in that game off the miss. They've missed a lot of layups. That could come back to haunt you against a team like this. Well, you know, that, that time, Gurney's made some great moves to the basket. That time, pulled up, and, and boy, he just can't buy a bucket tonight. Yeah, he, he had a good start, but they've, they've had great high percentage shots. You better start hitting. Hanford turns in. Davis way wide open almost too wide open had to he on me thought i can't believe yeah. nobody's picked me up they've got to take advantage of that baseline you see how tech gets yeah. back in a hurry and just like that they've drawn within six big play that time as they get it down as and shannon hits the shot rebounds in the first half uh offensive bounds three two tech 12 by Tech 13 Hughesville in the first half of this game. And I'll tell you, when you're Hughesville and you're undersized and there's only that small a margin between rebounds, uh, you're doing well. Gurney off the dribble that time it went in. Boy, they needed that. Back to 37-29. Gurney with a good move to the basket that time finished. Going to get a turnover. Here comes Hughesville coming back. Tenth turnover of the ball game against communications tech the phoenix are in here 16 and 3. third period watching sunday morning coming up next the millionaires in white plains new york always one of the best teams in the state of new york davis lacher second replay of this game will be tuesday at seven millionaires second replay monday at seven on comcast 71 baseline Hanford gave it away. Lacher goes up and had it slapped away. The break off the dribble, and boy, Davis is going to get the foul. That was very close to a travel, and Davis is going to get him with the body. And up slowly, getting up is going to be Brian Hoover that somebody looked like away from the ball may have run into. Got There's a, a Fairfield replay. Let's take a look. Got a scramble for the ball. Here's the replay. Got it underneath, and, and Lacher just outmanned. Yeah. Good kick away, and, and uh, I, I thought it was a good call. Fans didn't like it. They thought we were both going for the ball, but I thought the player had possession. Chris Jones drives and gets fouled on the way in by Brian Hoover. And he'll go the line two shot foul for a team that was seven out of 11 at the free throw line in the first half of this ball game. Coming up next week. We've got a busy schedule on cable sports. Monday night, sock here at Williamsport in that makeup game. That's going to be fun on Monday night with the replays coming up later in the week. We'll give you all those. They almost get too confusing if we mention them now. 
And then Wednesday night will be at Newman, where the Knights are playing great basketball, playing the Muncie Indians on Wednesday with the replays Friday night and Saturday morning. And next Saturday night, it'll be the rematch between Hughesville and Loyal Sock at Sock. 37-30 score in the game. Gertie off the dribble, penetrates again, gets hooked to the way in. See is, that that foul goes against the big man Thompson has two fouls on him in the first half. No, it's not going to go against him. I think it's going to go. We'll have to wait and see till they post it. Ray Taggart exploded for 12 points. It's going to go against Shaq Shannon. That'll be his first. In the first half of the game, Hanford kick back Taggart. Davis again. He's hit a pair of threes early. Off the drive, had it rejected. Taggart again. Puts it up. The jump shot goes in. Big bucket. He's got 14. Taggart's got the hot hand tonight. Get him the ball. Good. Out of bounds. Comes back. Good defense reason. Davis got in that passing lane. Took away an easy basket for Communications Tech. Useville by nine, Gary Chrisman. They're still comfortable with 5.20 to go here in the third period. Chris Jones runs the point. Off the dribble, out of control, whistle, and an offensive charge. And hitting the deck, Addison Hanford. Good job. That's one yeah. of the first things a tag teaches you day one. If you're going to be a Hughesville Spartan, the basics, taking that charge. Communications Tech didn't like that call, but he, but he was out of control. He went up, he was out of control, and, and it's hard to see. The official had a better advantage point than any of us did and uh, thought it was a good call by the official. They're going to put on some full court man-to-man -man pressure, as they have done. Going to be this ball game, 39-30. They did it early on, but it didn't work. They're just going to the middle, the middle man. They're kicking it around. They spread the floor nicely and bring the ball up court with no trouble. Turning off the drive, the kick back Davis. Davis a deep three. Yes. Wow. Raisin Davis, his third three of the night. He's got nine, 42 30. Here's Chris Jones. Jones pulls up, takes the jumper from the free throw line, doesn't hit it. But a whistle and a foul underneath, and they may be looking at Reason Davis again. I'm going to take a look at this. They, Tag's done a good job getting guys in and out, making sure nobody gets him in, into real foul trouble in the game. But Davis now has three. You would think that he might have to come out of the game. You want him in the game down yeah, the stretch, absolutely. that's for and, sure. And Reason Davis has been quiet tonight on the scoring end. But he's done a really excellent job on defense. He's got some key offensive re or defensive rebounds. He's done a good job of getting them passing lanes, mixing it up, and he's one of those guys that had that hustle going in the first half of the ball game that kept Hughesville alive. Game of the week brought to you by Red Dog Mobile Storage. They'll bring the storage to you, Red Dog. One go down for Thompson. Here comes Hoover. Taggart, 14 off the bench. Going to get fouled in the backcourt that time as Chris Jones, the senior guard, trying to pick his pocket. Jones doesn't like it, but that was, that was a good call. You can't be on a man's body and applying pressure when you're out in the open floor like that. Jared Blanford comes back in the ball game. 42 30. Hughesville led by as many as 13 in the first half of the game, led by 10 at halftime. Brian Gurney, who's had four assists on the night. A little crossover, Hoover, kick back Gurney. Gurney again off the drive, done a good job all night, that time rejected, put back, Lager wouldn't go. And here come the Phoenix. For three, yes. I think it's only a two. I think his foot was on the line. Foot on the line. Yeah. That's going to be Raheem Rohr, who just came off the bench. And they've cut it down to a 10-point game, 42-32. Timeout called. Let's see if we take the short or the long timeout. Let's look and see. It will be the complete minute timeout. Subway, check him out. Cross from target at like coming crossing. 10-point lead, Hughesville. The staff here is excellent. Oh, they're a pleasure. Very well trained. They're, they're very good people. Yeah, I don't think there's any need to be traveling too far out of the area uh, to find the kind of care that, that I had here. So I think it's possible to do the absolutely best high tech work in an environment that's really populated with very loving, supportive, caring people. 
The whole experience was so wonderful. It's close to home, and that's a good feeling. Susquehanna Health, the art of caring, the science of healing. For great food, great fun, great sports, you've got to be at Rivals River Avenue Williamsport, featuring their California wood-fired pizza. It's the best pizza in town. Mexican Mondays every Monday night. Wings night, Wednesday, best wings in town, eight varieties. Of course, the Big Fish Fry Friday night, happy hour five to seven every night, and also the best steak salad and more in town. Check it out for all the food, fun, and all the big games. Rivals River Avenue. Ten-point lead, Hughesville with the ball, 42-32. Gary Christman and Bay Bear. Fairfield Auto Group Game of the Week. Comcast 71. A lot of action this next week. Jameel Strange into the ball game for Communications Tech. He sparked this team in the first half. See if he can do it again. Jordan Holmes looked at Taggart. They denied the baseline cut. Gurley comes out high to Hanford. And Holmes again back to little give and go. Hanford, yes. It would not go in. Partially blocked. Boy, I tell you, that's tough. I tell you, a nice entry pass, though, by Holmes. And the foul on the way in. That's a, that is a four-point play there. Because you, you, you come down here, you, they set it up, little give and go, backdoor cut. Hanford couldn't miss it. Hughesville, what could come back to haunt the Spartans, as we mentioned earlier, are a lot of high-percentage shots in the paint, layups, and off drives that just would not have eyes and go in. And now they convert to the other end to cut it down to a nine-point game. 42-33. Our, our, our stats man tonight, Mike Lundy, pointed out a, a, a great stat. Hughesville has 21 points off of three-pointers. Communications Tech, zero. They have not hit a three-pointer yet tonight. That's a big differential in the margin part column. Yeah, that deep shot a moment ago was a two, as Babe mentioned, and stepped on the line. Gurney. Finishes that there time. Is. There's there a is. big bucket to get it back to 10. 44-34. Brian Gurney, who we felt would be a key and answering at the other end. Jack Shannon hits the shot. 44-36. Brian Gurney's got 10 points in this game. I tell you, they, you, after that, that uh, they brought it down under 10. And they, they bring Jameel Strange into the ball game. This team has picked up its tempo. Communications Tech has turned it on with three minutes to go uh, here in this third period. Absolutely. Remember a year ago, this team had a good lead on Prep Charter. It came back, ended up winning in an OT. Gurney off the drive, wouldn't go. They've got Eisworth in there underneath. Hanford on the bench now. Strange came off the bench, hit a couple of deep shots in the first half. Shannon off the drive wouldn't go loose ball somebody better pick it up good rebound Gurney Gurney's gonna get fouled reaching in and again that time Shaq Shannon had body and not ball and it was an obvious foul he had his arm caught in there too and instead of pulling it out he stayed in there and tried to fight for the ball and that's I think where he picked the foul up on a, on a little bit of a what they used to call a hack on the inside he hacked him in the arm Gary. that's right Gave him the axe. They used to the give axe, him the axe yeah. up here. That's his second personal foul. Team fouls even at four apiece. Taggart. Taggart had a look there. Should have taken it. Gurney. Holmes again. This club had three, uh, six threes in the first half of the game. Good recovery by Hoover. Taggart working to Drew Eisworth. Eisworth playing a nice game tonight in the paint. Backdoor cut, Taggart, shot won't go. Tech gets up in a hurry. They came back to block the shot, and then the lay-in coming down. On the run, Sherm Blanford lays it in. We've got a six-point game again. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you, Communications Tech now starting to show how tall this team is. They're just up over top of Hughesville right now. Nick needs a timeout. And Nick Zaglaferi is going to make the timeout now. It's going to be the short 30 for Subway. Subway, like coming, crossing, cross from target. Hughesville up by six. The Rennie Road Armal Insurance Agency has been providing a wide range of insurance products to your friends and family for the past 29 years. Whether you need auto, home, life insurance, business insurance, annuities, or CDs, 
The Rennie Road Armal Agency wants to be your agent for life. We're located on Westminster Drive in Legion Road in Pensdale. Our friendly, helpful staff is available for all your insurance needs. Call Rennie Road Armal Insurance Agency today. Well, it's a 44-38 game. Hughesville had led in the second half by a dozen points. They actually led by as many as 13 in the game. Ten-point lead at halftime, now dwindled down to six again. Reach in foul, and I'll tell you, Communication Tech's U sticker, Lou Beaster, is not used to the refereeing here in Central PA. Is they're used to putting a hand on a guy, and uh, tonight the referees are not, they're calling those. Team foul number five, not yet in the bonus where Hughesville was five of six in the first half and is a good free throw shooting team. Holmes better hurry. Got it into Gurney. Tech has turned up their game in the second half. Gurney off the drive, lays it up and in. Big bucket, he continues to beat his man. Good move to the outside. He dropped his man down and, and uh, went around him. No one picked him up as he drove down the lane. Picks up the easy bucket. Good takeaway by Gurney. Big play, Gurney, and now Hoover brings it back down. He's triple teamed. Somebody's got to be open. Here's Holmes. Good pass from Holmes to Gurney. Gurney takes a drive again. Hard off the glass. Taggart keeps it alive. Holmes, deep three wouldn't go. Here comes Raheem. Steele Taggart. Lost the dribble and turned it over at midcourt. That's a tough break right there. Really a tough break. They'll take it out of midcourt. 46-38, 51 left third period. You can see how the tempo of this game is picked up. And by picking the tempo up, both teams have a little bit of difficulty controlling the ball. They're not protecting the ball when they have it. And I, I think that's going to be a key, particularly for Hughesville, as they get on the stretch here. Well, you've got to, got to realize, you know, you take a look at this third period, Hughesville scored but 11 points in the third. And they were shooting, it scored 35 in the first half. Elijah Thompson puts it back in to cut it back to a six-point game. He's been quiet for a while. He's a player that started his career at Monsignor Bonner, the team that the Millionaires beat last week in the Kobe Bryant Classic in Norristown. Hoover, that's a two, yes. 48-40, back to eight. Big bucket for Brian Hoover, it gives you that steady point that controls the game on both offense and defense. He's been a key over the years. Taggart again, loose ball at the baseline with five, Holmes with four, Holmes forces it with three, two, that's it. And an eight point game, Hughesville by eight. As we turn for home, the final eight minutes, let's pause for Subway. 489, whole sub, any day, any time, four till closing at Subway. Eight point lead for the green and white. Winter is relentless cold, we'll be here before you know it. Do you know if your heating system is running properly? A heating system tune-up and regular maintenance checkups can save you money as much as 10% during the heating season. And speaking of savings, fuel prices have come down. Now might be the perfect time to fill up before we see another significant change in fuel prices. And seniors, did you know that Montour offers discounts to qualified customers over the age of 65 to help them extend their budget? Call Montour Home Comfort Services today at 1-888-MONTOUR. Here we are live at the Stearns Plaza, the unveiling of City Bus to River Valley Transit. Over one million passengers ride River Valley Transit yearly. River Valley Transit operates buses six days a week. River Valley Transit has easy fare passes for as low as $2. Ride the River Valley Transit to the Lycoming Mall. I love River Valley Transit. Seniors ride free and they get bonus bucks. River Valley Transit. We're getting you there. Fairfield Auto Group Game of the Week. Six location, dozen lines of cars. Fairfield for fair deals, fighting the economic crunch with great deals, rebates, discounts. They've got, they're moving cars, and they're doing a great job. Addison Hanford gets hammered, going up. Got it low, tops in there. See if the foul will be against the big guy, number three, inside. But nevertheless, Addison Hanford to the free throw line. Taggart leads with 14, but Gurney has picked up the pace with a dozen points in this game. And I felt he would be a key because he's been playing his better basketball in the last few games. 
Certainly a key as sophomore off the team of a year ago. You know, Hughesville doing a great job of getting that entry pass into the man underneath. Now, it, it could be the defense that the Phoenix are playing, uh, or, or it just could be that they're just out hustling them, but just doing a great job. Game of the week brought to you by Cooley Dance Company. Off the miss by Hanford. Ballet point tap. They're the hottest new dance company in the area. Cooley Dance Company, Market Street, downtown. 48-40. Shannon. Boy, they got away with maybe a foul, but no yep. call on the, what well, would have been a foul against Holmes. Chris Jones knocks down the three in their first three of the ball game. And now you've got a five-point game, the closest they've been since back in the first period, 48-43. Well, you know, Hughesville knew this team was going to pick it up in the second half. Hughesville's just got to stay with them. Reason Davis has been on the bench a while with three personals. He's got three threes and nine points. Hoover looking for Davis. Davis loses the handle, gets handcuffed, and the steal. Lacher went up for it. Whistle, foul. Who will it be? And I think Chris Jones reaching back is going to foul. Andy Lacher, and I think we're going to come back down here and shoot. Let's look and see. It should be a shooting foul. Here's another Fairfield Auto Group replay. Now they're, they're, it's one on one. They're, they're signal. It's one on one. They got to go. Here's a replay. Fairfield replay. You can see that uh, Lacher had position, went up to get the ball, got hammered from the back. So Lacher will go to the foul line. All right, Andy Lacher, front end of a one and one with uh, 6:58 left in the game. And uh, I, this is going to be critical, Gary. In the fourth period, Hughesville has got to sink their foul shots. They're in the bonus now. They're going to get one-on-ones. they got to finish. Absolutely. Lacher to the line. He was the big football star this year. In and out, back in. Six foot two, put together. He's going to be one of the premier running backs in Central PA next season. I guarantee you that. Well over 1,000 yards this year, 49-43, second shot good. Seven-point lead, Hughesville, over the fourth-ranked team in doubling in the state, and the pressure on the trap press, and they throw it away, and that's what they wanted to do. 13th turnover in the game against Tech. Had a good trap, but also had a man filling to the far side. He had to throw it tall to get it over the defender. Threw it too tall, went out of bounds. So Hughesville with a chance here. 6.53 to go here in the fourth period. Hughesville's been here before. Last year took, uh, if you remember, prep charter into overtime, Gary. Lost it in overtime. Reach in, foul from behind that time. And Shaq Shannon, the junior guard, is one of their leading scorers in the team. Try to reach around and bet. Pop that ball loose, and it will be a one-and-one -one situation here. And Hoover and the Spartans, as Babe said, can really help themselves down the rest of this game. Tech is not yet in the bonus. Hughesville has four team fouls, but eight now as Hoover hits it. They can get in the double bonus with guys like Davis and people like that at the line. They're deadly. Although they remember early in the season, struggled at the line in some key games that we saw early. This is a ball club from Hughesville that lost to Prep Charter, another outstanding ranked team in the Bucknell Challenge. Ran out of steam against that club in the third period. And the fourth quarter, really. 52-43, back to nine. And then lost to Sock and Southern, back to back. Good denial of the ball and no foul. Shannon, oh, block. Nice block by Hanford. Loose ball picked up, Taggart. Big, big defensive play by the 6-4 inside junior. Taggart, deep three. Greg will not put it down this time. Here comes Pearson. Giving the ball back to Shaq Shannon. Shot wouldn't go that time. Strange couldn't hit it. He's been big off the bench early in the game, 52-43. Nine-point lead, 6.06 left. Yeah, I, I think Communications Tech's got to use that height and, and take the ball into the paint. Reason Davis thought about the three, and then a good job by Pearson coming out to take that shot away. They didn't do a good job early, because I'll tell you, Davis, the last time he had the ball for a three, was so wide open in one of those attempts. Good strip of the ball that time by... The flip off balance, whistle foul. That time, sure, Blanford 
was the player that made the play but then got himself off balance and just had to throw it up there hoping it, a trailer might be able to put it in but the foul and we're going to come back down the other way and shoot well Virgil Pearson then came down and came over the back of uh, of Hoover and Hoover will go to the foul line shooting two more he drained the last two here's a look again good strip of uh, Gurney who so pretty much has had his way but he had to throw it up there hoping a trailer might be able to jam it home as he found himself a little bit too deep and off balance that time and Brian Hoover back to the free throw line shot will not go that's a big miss deep three put back is there and good big bucket Blanford 52 45 it's a seven point game Hughesville needs a big bucket I believe babe in this possession yeah, I agree I agree I'm missing that foul hurt but they can make it up right here Hughesville when they're playing a little bit more up tempo in the first half scored the 35 points but they scored in that third period they scored but 11 that time Gurney didn't get fouled and now a reach in foul against Hanford I believe yeah we're gonna walk down the other way they're not gonna be shooting Hanford's got four personal fouls on the night. He sat down a good bit. Andy Lacher is going to come back in. They've got the smaller team inside, but Lacher physically gives you so much as a great athlete in there. Well, you know, Nick with the lead knows that on offense, he's got to score points. If he can keep scoring points, he's going to win this ball game. So he has an offensive team on the floor. Here comes Shannon. Scoops can't hit it. Put back tops and goes. He's fouled. It counts. And now you've got a game. I think a tough break. I, I, a, a great position underneath by Reason Davis just didn't keep the ball when he came down. Thompson puts it in, goes to the foul line, and, and you're right, Gary. This could this could close it down to, with 4:51 to go in the ball game. And and the Phoenix, you know, they, they you, you just see them. They picked it up a little bit. Hughesville's hanging in there. It's going to come right down to the finish. 52-47. Shot the three-point play, and he hits it. 52 48 in a four point game. And Tag says, let's talk about it. We're going to take a timeout. It's the short timeout for Subway. 199 for a meatball half sub right now at Subway. It's a four point game. We'll be back. If I told you there was a way to save money on your heating bills, would you do it? Having your heating system cleaned and serviced will save you money. Your heating system will run more efficiently, and small problems can be repaired before they turn into big problems. The cold weather has arrived, and it's time to call the Airmen. The Airmen can get your heating system working more efficiently and reliably for the winter. Call the Airmen today, 322-3131. That's 322-3131. Fifty-two forty-eight. Off the three-point play a moment ago in a four-point game, and now Hughesville's got to find a way to score. They've been quiet for a while. They scored but four points in this fourth period. They're taking the back door away off the break. Yes, the lay-in makes it a two-point game. Fifty-two fifty, the score of the game. Hughesville's got to settle down. They've got to protect the ball. Good shot by Gurney. Big bucket, Gurney back to four, 54-50. He's been beating his man most of the night there. They were not going early, but thank God they're going now. Yeah, they're right. going when they need him. Yep. Gurney's got 14 points in the game. We he's, felt he would be a key. He's picked it up in the second half. He was doing it in the first half, wasn't finishing. Second half, he's finishing it out. He, he, he has got a bigger one than that one right there, Gary. That was huge. No doubt, but the foul back down this way. And now you're you're looking at the front end of a one and one now for Tech who will shoot the rest of the way as they cut it to a three point game 54 51 4 16 left you're watching Sunday our next replay the millionaires and White Plains New York big big matchup for the cherry and white game of the week brought to you by in part Red Dog mobile storage there's a tie up Red Dog of course they will uh, bring the storage to you. They do a great job. You see them all over the Williamsport Central PA area for your home and business. Red Dog Mobile Storage. 
54-51. Nick Tag goes, goes to a, a, a defensive team, brings Hanford back in. He's got four. Jones gives it back to Strange. Little guys try to clear him out a bit. Three-point game, 408 left. Jones explodes and lost the ball. A three on two. Gurney threw it away. Gurney tried to go to Taggart and a golden opportunity. And in, in that situation, 10 turnovers, Spartans, you almost want, might want to, when in doubt, pull it back and yeah. set your play. Well, you know, he had the man over to the left. He out thought himself, thought he had the defense shifted, went over to the right and threw it away. Here comes Shannon. Deep three from downtown. Blanford hits the shot. Or we, we should say Raheem Rohr hits the shot. Tied at 54. That is the first tie we've had in this game since it was 4-4 back in the fourth in the first period. All right, you've got to protect the ball and get off the best shot you can get off right now. And right now, Hughesville's pressing. They need to settle down. Yep, they they got a tie ball game. They had a 13-point lead a couple of times in this game. Hoover off the dribble and I tell you when they go down deep what they have not been able to do is finish in the paint They've had a lot of balls blocked and shots that did not go in They need the deep three that really gave them that big lead early They had six threes in the first half of the game and, and with the height disadvantage in there I don't like to see Hoover going to the hoop unless he has an alley and there was no alley there that time They're lucky to get it back I like to see they've done a better job, Tech is, by, by taking away that three-point shot in Hanford. That time, the up and down turned it over and traveled, and now Hughesville's out of whack. And Nick yeah. Tag needs another timeout. We may get the full time. Let's look and see. Subway, this will be the full minute. Cross from Target, like coming, crossing. The new store with one coming soon across from Walmart in Mentorsville. There's your score. We'll be back. The Rennie Road Armal Insurance Agency has been providing a wide range of insurance products to your friends and family for the past 29 years. Whether you need auto, home, life insurance, business insurance, annuities, or CDs, the Rennie Road Armal Agency wants to be your agent for life. We're located on Westminster Drive in Legion Road in Pensdale. Our friendly, helpful staff is available for all your insurance needs. Call Rennie Road Armal Insurance Agency today. Palco Federal Credit Union has been a tradition in our area for nearly 30 years. Tom Rachel, tell me why you're different than all the other financial institutions. Gary, we're owned by our members. Not everyone is eligible to be a member of the credit union. I ask that you visit our website or give us a call on our 800 line to see if you're eligible to join. Now, Tom, what are the services that you have to offer? Gary, we offer everything that you can possibly want. We have checking, savings, loans, uh, home line, or online banking, where you can do everything from the convenience of your home. We would like you to be our next member at Palco. All right, here's your ball game. 304 left, tied at 54. Last time they were tied as they back it into a 3-2 zone. The 1-2-2 with a point held by Gurney. They play this team man, good bit of the ball game. There's a jump around the side, and Rohr knocks it down, Raheem Rohr. He's hit two threes in a row in the first lead since it was a 4-2 ball game early by Communications Tech. 57-54, down by three. Really and now they better answer here. Yeah, really important to use Bill answers here, Gary. Here comes Davis. And Tech has done a great job. Gurney's been blown by his guy all night. Off the dribble, hits the shot, and a chance to tie with a three-point play. Good job of clearing out underneath by Hanford. And good job of Gurney of reading it, coming off that pick and, and uh, getting that ball up off the backboard. Good job. Good offensive uh, running of the offense that Nick Tag wants. Gurney's got 16 points in the game. Working on 17 to tie. It won't go. Hustle. Out of bounds. Who makes the call? Who's got it back? No, and no, Hughesville no. thought they had it. It comes no. back to Communications Tech. And Tag can't believe it because it happened right before, right in front of the Hughesville bench. And now the referee's going to talk about it. All right, who's going to get the ball back? It goes back to Bobby, if we Phoenix get, get it back. That, I'd like to see it. I, I thought that went off of uh, Communications Tech for sure. Hughesville fans were right there and cannot believe it. All right, now they 
they come back, they're going to play man. Try to double the ball, though, and match up if they can. Off that high screen, Hoover picks his pocket. Hoover lost the dribble, puts it back to Taggart. They better come back, set the play. Gurney, a deep three. Halfway down, it came back up. Here comes Strange. Off the dribble, timeout Lou Beaster with a minute 52 and a one-point tech lead. They want the full timeout. We'll pause for Subway. Check him out across from target, like coming crossing. We'll be back. When it comes to the finest detail in handcrafted jewelry in Central PA, there's one name to know. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Golden Strip in Williamsport. Using only the finest A1 quality diamonds and A1 quality gemstones, Blair Brothers has more new designs for the upcoming season. Blair Brothers is your engagement ring headquarters. Now is the time to create that one-of-a-kind piece. Let them make you an original. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Williamsport. Hey, today we're here at the Kootenai Insurance Agency in Washington Boulevard with former Missourisville Warrior Mike Kootenai. Mike, congratulations on 10 great years. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. What are some of the discounts you're offering? At the Kootenai Agency, we offer a 25% multi-policy discount when you insure your auto and homeowner's insurance with us. And you can save up to $523 a year on auto insurance. Call us today for a free quote, great rates, and superior service. Mike, what is that phone number? 322-8909. The Kootenai Insurance Agency. All right, here we go. Minute 51 left. After the time outlet by Lou Beaster, the coach of Tech. 57-56, the Phoenix lead the game by one. And that could be it for Addison Hanford. Who, I, I think it's going to go offensive. Yeah, yeah, it will offensive. be an offensive yeah, foul. That's the right second now. charge he's taken. Yep. But I tell you, the way they reacted at first, it looked like it might be a foul because Tech was clapping. But no, it's going to be the offensive charge. Hanford with four. Courageously stood in there and took the charge. His second charge he took of the night. And now Hughesville down by one with a minute 38, 57, 56. All right, they've got to take a good shot. Taggart. Hanford turns, spins, goes in, had it partially, may have had a piece of it. He got a little close underneath and couldn't hit it. Here comes Strange. Now Tech with a lead by one with a minute 19 left. Let's see if they try to pull it out, take some time out of here, work for a good shot, force Hughesville to come out and foul. Strange, baseline, it goes. And Hanford, that time you knew he had four fouls because he really couldn't challenge. And it's a three-point game. 59-56. This is when Hughesville's got to get tough. Raising Davis for deep. He raised the three to tie the game with 48 seconds. 12 points for Davis. Tied at 59. 37 seconds left. Four threes for Davis, 12 points, none bigger than that last one. And that was a deep three. Strange, ball's kicked. Taggart got the foot out there, but they're going to go back to the Phoenix. And Communication Tech will have the ball again, but this time they're going to get it underneath their own hoop at the baseline. See if they try to work it in for an inbound play. They're trying to look at it, Thompson underneath. Phoenix going to draw back here, tied at 59, 23 in the clock. Shaquille Shannon with the ball with 18. You got to watch the foul. Shannon, baseline, Thompson lost the ball. Hoover's got it with 11 seconds, with 10. Davis for the win. Tagger, yes, with four seconds. Inbound with one. Time called. Lou Beaster may have gotten a timeout with 1.4 seconds, and Hughesville's that close to beating the fourth-ranked team in Pennsylvania. Wow. I'll tell you what, Hughesville got tough when they had to get tough, and that's the bottom line, Gary Christman. It is a two-point lead, 1.4 seconds to go in the ballgame. Got to shoot a three. It's going to be a Hail Mary. Yeah, right now you've got to just give a little token defense. And not, and here's a look again. This will be big play Davis. He found Taggart, 
who's going to be the star of this ball game for Hughesville because he came up big, had a dozen in the first half. He's got 16 in the game, none bigger than the final two. And Hughesville deserves to win a game like this because they've lost a couple of heartbreakers in a row that affected their confidence on the year, to say the least, and then started playing better in the last week or two and playing like the team that has had this bullseye in their back all season as the favorite in District 4 AA and the winner of the last two of the last three years in District 4. And now Communications Tech trying to get a shot off to win it. And Nick Tag given the defensive instructions on how they're going to guard the inbound play. It'll be strange little inbound. Tag wants another full timeout. Tag's going to take the minute. And we'll take the timeout. 61-59. We'll be back after this word from Subway and the gang. Don't go away. Oh, to the Subway Big Philly Cheesesteak by Ryan Howard. <clears throat> I step to the plate and what do I see? Big Philly cheesesteak staring down me. Tender grilled steak, melted cheese high. Saying slugger, give it a ride. Digging my cleats, take a bite. Oh, the flavor soars out of sight. Big Philly cheesesteak puts burgers to shame. I ought to be enshrined in the mm, Hall of Fame. Subway, eat fresh. The place to go before and after the game. The Lodge, Golden Strip, and Williamsport. New GM, Tommy Best back in town. Boy, you guys have great food. Absolutely. We got great burger steaks. Our Mile High Nachos are world famous and best ribs in town. Yeah, check out the great entertainment. Happy Hour Friday night. What else? Karaoke every Wednesday to Thursdays. We have a Texas Hold'em tournament and live entertainment every Saturday night. Check it out before and after the game. The Lodge, Golden Strip, and Williamsport. Here it is, 1.4 seconds, inbound, 61-59. Raheem Royer is their best three-point shooter, number 15. They're going to try it. It is. There's the shot. There's going to be a whistle before that. And now, <laughs> did they call another timeout? I think they did. I think they wanted to get the ball into this side of the, into the front court. And a little closer look for Lou Beaster's team. Boy, I tell you, that's. How do you get a timeout called that quickly? Wow, I, that, that was quick. It, or did he get the timeout before the inbound as he wanted I, to think about it again? He, he, he saw how Hughesville came out to defense them. And I would yeah. think at this stage of the game, I'm going to throw a high lob toward the bucket and not worry about a three-pointer yeah. and, 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 and try, to, try to get something up there, even if you can get fouled, because you feel you, you've got a, a mismatch inside Trying to get it to one of the big guys, it might be a, because again, clock doesn't start until somebody touches the ball. Right now, Raheem Royer, that was number 15 who took that last shot. It, I mean, it was it was timeout, so it didn't matter. He is their best three-point shooter. That's the man they want to get the ball to if they're going for a three. If not, I agree with you, Gary. Uh, that was defense well. I think you're going to go high over the top, try to get it into Thompson or somebody, and get a quick layup. The only thing is. The ball cannot be mishandled if they do that. Here we go. 1.4 seconds. Hughesville trying for the big win. Inbound. Shannon better get it in. At the buzzer. It goes! And Hughesville's lost the game. And I believe it's going to count. 62-61. Tech has stunned Hughesville tonight. And the crowd can't believe it. Wow. The shot that went down a moment ago. Unbelievable. And Hughesville has lost a heartbreaker. Shaq Shannon took the shot. And I mean, I don't even think he looked at the basket. He just threw it up there. Wow. What wow. A heartbreaking oh. loss. <laughs> oh, wow. man. I'm taking this one hard, Gary. Yeah, me too. 62 61. You throw up a Hail Mary, and it went in. And the team for the city of brotherly loves got a nice bus trip back because they want a thriller and here it is again wow i'm stunned i am too i, I thought they were going in he actually he just turned and dribble. let it go yep. and that is an espn highlight to win a game at the buzzer 62 61. for uh, 
Nick Tag, I don't know what you say. No. Wait, what do you say? Because his team played his heart out. They played a heck of a game, and they lose on a buzzer beater. Sometimes it just isn't meant to be, but they certainly prove they can play with some of the best in all of Pennsylvania. You know. We're going to take a timeout. We're going to be back with an abbreviated Lodge postgame show, 62-61, the final score of this ball game tonight. We'll be back in a moment. Tech has beaten Hughesville on a buzzer beater with just a second to play. Where we come from, high gas prices are nothing new. Perhaps that's why BMW offers more vehicles that average at least 28 miles per gallon than any other luxury automaker. BMW, the ultimate driving machine. Fairfield BMW, the Fairfield exit off I-180 Montoursville. This year, you're invited to celebrate life's special moments with Disney. Anniversaries, reunions, and right now, something incredibly special for your birthday. Just ask your travel agent. So join Disney Parks, where the only thing to decide is, what will you celebrate? AAA Travel is celebrating Disney Month by offering a special book four nights and get three free. Plus, for every Magic Your Way package, you'll receive a limited edition Disney print. Call your local AAA Travel agent for details. You're looking at Fairfield Toyota Scion, the Superstore, Hall's Pensdale exit off I-180. No doubt the Taj Mahal of dealerships, to say the least, Dick Stive. We're here at Fairfield Toyota with Dick, general manager. Dick, when you talk about fuel efficiency for 09, you've got the vehicles to brag about. That's for sure. Toyota has the highest fuel efficiency of any large car or manufacturer. Uh, more cars over 30 miles a gallon than any manufacturer. Let me give you an example. If you're driving a vehicle at 15 miles a gallon, over five years, you're going to spend eighteen dollars to $20,000 on fuel. If you're driving a Camry, for instance, at 31 miles a gallon, you're going to spend around uh, $9,000 on fuel. That's a savings of over $10,000 just on fuel over five years. And, Dick, one thing for sure, you have some of the best-selling cars in the world today. That's for sure. you got the Camry best-selling car in America at 31 miles a gallon, Corolla best-selling car in the world at 35 miles a gallon, the all-new Tundra. I want to talk about the Tundra, the all-American Tundra made in San Antonio, Texas, Motor Trends Truck of the Year. You have to stop and see this truck. And remember, no one beats our all-new Superstore prices. Nobody, period. Okay, let's talk about the Toyota Venza. Brand-new vehicle coming out for 09. Uh, new Venza, front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, uh, crossover vehicle. You've got to stop and see this car. It is wonderful. Yeah, congratulations. Good luck for 09. What a year this is going to be. Thank you. It sure is. And make it fair field for fair deals. Rainbow Carpet, your flooring headquarters for over 20 years in Central PA, has you covered for all the new flooring designs. The Macera family will help you every step of the way with those new creative ideas from carpeting, ceramic tile, laminate, vinyl, hardwoods, including exotic hardwoods like bamboo and Brazilian cherry. And their carpet and cleaning service and water and fire restoration is second to none. For all your flooring needs, see Tony, Mary, Anthony, and John, the Macera family at Rainbow Carpet. Palco Federal Credit Union has been a tradition in our area for nearly 30 years. Tom, Rachel, tell me why you're different than all the other financial institutions. Gary, we're owned by our members. Not everyone is eligible to be a member of the credit union. I ask that you visit our website or give us a call on our 800 line to see if you're eligible to join. Now, Tom, what are the services that you have to offer? Gary, we offer everything that you can possibly want. We have checking, savings, loans, uh, home line, or online banking, where you can do everything from the convenience of your home. We would like you to be our next member at Palco. If you're worried about the high cost of heating this season, then it's time to call the Airmen and have your heating system cleaned and serviced. The Airmen will fine-tune your system to maintain peak efficiency and ensure that your heating system operates safely. Once you see the savings for yourself, you'll know why your best solution to rising energy costs was calling the Airmen. Call today, 322-3131. That's 322-3131. Hey, today we're here at the Kootenai Insurance Agency in Washington Boulevard with former Montoursville Warrior Mike Kootenai. Mike, congratulations on 10 great years. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. What are some of the discounts you're offering? At the Kootenai Agency, we offer a 25% multi-policy discount when you insure your auto and homeowner's insurance with us. And you can save up to $523 a year on auto insurance. 
Call us today for a free quote. Great rates and superior service. Mike, what is that phone number? 322-8909. The Kootenai Insurance Agency. At Price Optical, we set our sights on your vision. Our focus is on providing complete quality eye care. Whether your sport is football, basketball, or baseball, stop by Price Optical for all your sports eyewear needs. Sports eyewear is a durable solution for keeping your kids' eyes safe and protected. We also have a large selection of everyday kids' frames. At Price Optical, our selection is great and our service is better. After all, quality is always the best deal. Price Optical for the finest in eyewear. The place to go before and after the game. The Lodge, Golden Strip, and Williamsport, new GM, Tommy Best back in town. Boy, you guys have great food. Absolutely. We got great burger steaks. Our Mile High Nachos are world famous and best ribs in town. Yeah, check out the great entertainment. Happy Hour Friday night. What else? Karaoke every Wednesday to Thursdays. We have a Texas Hold'em tournament and live entertainment every Saturday night. Check it out before and after the game. The Lodge, Golden Strip, and Williamsport. Well, you talk about being stunned. Lodge postgame show 62-61 on a deep 30-foot three. 30 to 35 foot three that was put in by uh, Shaq Shannon that hit the shot. And uh, what else can you say? We're getting ready for the next game. As you're watching Sunday morning, complete doubleheader. You'll watch coming up next, Millionaires in White Plains, New York. And, uh, and then, of course, the second replay of Hughesville will be Tuesday at 7. Millionaire's second replay Monday at 7 right here on Comcast 71 with a Fairfield Auto Group game of the week. All right, here is how Hughesville took the lead late in the game, but it was a tie game at 59. Taggart sneaks in. 61-59 the score. They call timeout with 1.4 seconds. And then there were uh, three timeouts called. Nick Tag then called another timeout. And then somehow on the inbound, what looked to be before they even got the play away, Lou Beaster called a second timeout, and it set up a deep three. And it, 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 it's a desperation play. And here is what happened, a heartbreaker that Hughesville will never, ever forget. There it is. What else can you do? He turned, he shot, and it went in. Nine out of ten times, that's not going to happen. I'm not so sure Ma 99 Ma out of 100 times that's yeah, not going to happen. Yeah, you're right. You're right. 49 out of 50 times for sure. <laughs> but uh, tonight, unfortunately for Hughesville fans, it happened. And communications tech, as time expired with one second, the touch and the shot, and it went down as the buzzer had just sounded, and it went in. It was good all the way. 62-61, the final score of this ball game. We're going to take another quick timeout, and we'll be... We'll be back and run down the scoring and more in our stars of that first game. Don't go away. The place to go before and after the game. The Lodge, Golden Strip, and Williamsport new GM Tommy Best back in town. Boy, you guys have great food. Absolutely. We got great burger steaks. Our Mile High Nachos are world famous and best ribs in town. Yeah, check out the great entertainment. Happy Hour Friday night. What else? Karaoke every Wednesday to Thursdays. We have a Texas Hold'em tournament and live entertainment every Saturday night. Check it out before and after the game. The Lodge, Golden Strip, and Williamsport. Matt, what is the deal? You have a brand new subway, it's like coming crossings by Target. Where'd you get the money for that? Well, Dad, I just signed your name on the loan at the bank. So, Matt, what else are you doing behind my back? Well, Dad, I signed your name at the bank for another loan. We're going to do a storm on tours of them. Matt, first you lower prices on whole subs to five dollars, and then every night from four o'clock to close, oh, any whole down, subs for four dollars and eighty-nine okay. cents. It's okay. You're gonna, we're gonna be broke. Calm down, relax. The Rennie Road Armal Insurance Agency has been providing a wide range of insurance products to your friends and family for the past twenty-nine years. Whether you need auto, home, life insurance, business insurance, annuities, or CDs. The Rennie Road Armal Agency wants to be your agent for life. We're located on Westminster Drive in Legion Road in Pensdale. Our friendly, helpful staff is available for all your insurance needs. Call Rennie Road Armal Insurance Agency today. Here we are live at the Stearns Plaza, the unveiling of City Bus to River Valley Transit. 
Over one million passengers ride River Valley Transit yearly. River Valley Transit operates buses six days a week. River Valley Transit has easy fare passes for as low as $2. Ride the River Valley Transit to the Lycoming Mall. I love River Valley Transit. Seniors ride free and they get bonus bucks. River Valley Transit. We're getting you there. When it comes to the finest detail in handcrafted jewelry in Central PA, there's one name to know. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Golden Strip in Williamsport. Using only the finest A1 quality diamonds and A1 quality gemstones, Blair Brothers has more new designs for the upcoming season. Blair Brothers is your engagement ring headquarters. Now is the time to create that one-of-a-kind piece. Let them make you an original. Blair Brothers Goldsmiths, Oaks Plaza, East 3rd, Williamsport. If you're moving in, moving out, moving up, moving on, moving over, move away, move together, move apart. Red dog, red dog. On site, off site, your site, our site. You pack, we store. You're gonna save more. Red dog, red dog. Mobile storage, we got storage for you. Red dog, red dog. Mobile storage, we bring storage to you. Red dog. Red MRIs used to be, well, in your face. Then the bore got wider, but the image clarity suffered. Now our newest very open MRI is sized right to be comfortable for everyone, delivering the clearest images for accurate diagnosis and treatment, and 60% of the time keeping your head outside of the machine, and all the time keeping you right here in Williamsport. The Siemens Esprit, now at Susquehanna Health. The art of caring, the science of healing. And once again, we're back. Lodge post-game show and stars of the ball game. There's no question that the game winner, nine points, eight rebounds, and Shaq Shannon hit the shot, heard around the world, and boy, he nailed it at the buzzer. A three to, to win it 62-61. The final score, Communications Tech over Hughesville, and boy, does it sting. Sting is probably the best way to put it.